Hey, what's up, everyone? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to do a quick one talking about how Russia is apparently going to be putting nukes in Belarus near the borders with Poland and Lithuania. So, obviously, this is not a good thing at all to be happening, and I'll be explaining why, in case someone doesn't know why that sounds like a bad thing. Also, explaining how it's happening, where it is at, like, the planning phase. So, first things first, Russia, yeah, the, to put nukes in Belarus near NATO borders is what the envoy says. So, Russian envoy to Belarus says weapons we move to allies' territory despite noise in Europe and the United States. So, obviously, nukes have probably been one of the best things and the worst things ever made by humanity. Um, we can just easily destroy all humanity, well, not all, most of humanity with nukes, probably. Um, like, like that, right? Just boom, 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 boom. But without nukes, who probably wouldn't be as much peace as we've had in the world since their creation, right? Obviously, there's still been, it's not all been peaceful, but it's been much more peaceful than uh, all of the other history that we've seen in the, in the world before nukes. So um, I think some of that is attributed to having nukes, right? You're not going to get invade someone that has a nuke, like, ever, is what it, it seems like as of now. So Russia will place tact uh, tactical and nuclear weapons in Belarus near its allies' borders with NATO, countries, the Russian envoy to Minsk has said in a move set to escalate tensions with the West. So this is uh, Boris Grizzlov uh, said on Sunday night that the weapons would be moved to the country's western border as part of moves to ensure security. So again, that's why they're, they're like, we're, we're, this is the whole reason why Russia is like, we're going to invade, you know, Ukraine because we need this, one of those like Nazis there and then two, which not not really. Um, obviously there's some, but not to the extent that they're saying, as well as they're, they're like, you know, we need to have sovereignty, we need to protect our, our, our borders and ensure security from, you know, stuff like that, which is, again, pretty bullshit, uh, if you ask me. But this will be done despite the noise in Europe and the United States, is what Grizzlov has told Belarusian state television. Grizzlov said a storage facility would be completed by July 1st, so again, that's the timeline, without specifying exactly where the weapons would be stationed. And they did say it's going to be um, near the border, is what I had read right here. Right, yeah, near its allies borders with NATO. So I want to make sure it's it's clear that that's what this article is saying. I'm not just pulling that out of my butt, right? I'm I'm, I'm finding some evidence for that. Um, the invoice comments come after uh, Putin last month announced plans to station ta tactical and nuclear weapons in Belarus. So Belarus shares borders with Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland, all of which were members of NATO. The military alliance originally established to deter Soviet expansion in Europe after World War II. NATO has increased the number of its troops stationed in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland, but nearly tenfold since Russia invaded Ukraine in February last year. I wonder why. Maybe because you have a country that's invading people in a time where we don't really do that anymore in the world. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, one of Putin's closest allies, said on Friday that some of Russia's strategic nuclear weapons could be deployed to his country's territory, along with the position in Russia's tactical and nuclear arsenal. Doesn't sound good. So the thing is, like, even though, one, like I said earlier, nukes were really good to have because it makes it so that you're not getting invaded. And it probably has helped with a lot of the peace we have in a lot of the world right now, uh, generally speaking, right? But it's you don't want random people to be having nukes, right? That's why it's so worrisome when certain countries are developing them. I think we all know who I'm talking about in this. Um, but tactical nuclear weapons have a shorter range and lower yield than strategic nuclear weapons and are designed for carrying out limited strikes in the battlefield. So, yeah, it's just going to use a little bit of a mini nuke, tactical nuke, not using, you know, a strategic nuke, right? It's just, it's still, it's still like a nuclear weapon, right? We don't want that being used. Uh, I think it's pretty bad. Also, I didn't realize how short Putin is. Jeez. I feel like, I feel like in some cases, they'd have to make him look short. <laughs> But I just think it's a really bad situation, all in all. I think most people will see this as one, right? Um, if you don't know, Belarus is basically, it's just a puppet state of Russia, right? Ever since they came in, uh, and I, I was, I, I think, I can't remember the exact year, but it was uh, when basically Russia came in and like, stopped all the protests in Belarus, right? Um, have a history of doing stuff like that, you know? But, um, you know, it's, it's not, the, not the best. I, I think... I'm not going to say any of the other countries' names I, I'm thinking of because I'm not 100% sure on if it's correct. I, I know one of them is, but I'm not sure what the other one I'm thinking of. But So I don't want to say them and be incorrect as I don't want to spread any fake information. Um, but yeah, so 
that's my kind of thoughts on this. I think this is really bad. I think it's just escalatory for no reason. I'm interested to see how a bunch of countries will respond. I have a friend in Poland, so I, I'm going to be messaging him and seeing what he thinks about this. I think it's kind of worrisome. But yeah, that's my kind of thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, but yeah, this is not a good. This is not look good for like the safety of like the world, in my opinion. Um, do I think anything will probably happen? Probably not with it. I would. I would assume probably not. But again, you never know. So hopefully, hopefully that they'll rethink this. But I don't think that they will. So yeah, that's my kind of thoughts on this. Thank you for watching. Love you all so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.